What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick. My name is Nate. And this is Full Car Cars. So in today's video, we're going to be going over our realistic three-car dream garage with everything totaling only $100,000, which I would say is a fairly realistic goal to set. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so the most expensive sport dream car on my list is going to be a 2016 Cayman GTS in the 10,000 to 20,000 mile range. And you can find one of these cars for, I want to go 55 to 65,000. So it's going to be $60,000 on average to get this car. And that will be a big chunk out of my $100,000 then again this is my dream car this is the fun car that I will have so this 2016 Cayman GTS goes 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds and now that 4.5 seconds is being pushed out of a 3.4 liter 340 horsepower engine guys I have always just loved the look of Porsches and they're one of those exotic cars that doesn't just start to fall apart I want to say at 30,000 miles so that is my dream car that I would really just enjoy to have and I feel like would last a lot longer than say you know a Lamborghini or a Ferrari alright guys so my first car on this list is going to take a massive portion of the hundred thousand dollars of course I am going to go with a 2015 Nissan GTR. Now you can find the GTR uh, earlier generations with a little more miles on them for in the 60s, even down into the low 60s, some of them. But for a 2015, right around 10,000 to 15,000 miles, you're going to be talking right around $70,000. So that is going to be, again, a significant portion of the $100,000 budget limit, but overall the Nissan GTR is my absolute dream car. That is uh, my goal to own one of those, so that is definitely going to be put on this list. So the GTR from 2015 has about 545 horsepower out of the twin turbo V6 engine. And the thing I love about the GTR is that for the price, it competes with just about any other supercar there is. Like, it competes very well with, like, a Lamborghini Huracan, which costs $200,000. The GTR has 0-60 to 60 time in around 3 seconds, which is absolutely insane for a car that's only $70,000 that you can buy, compared to, again, I'm just going to use the Lamborghini Huracan, which is about the same, might even be slower for some of the years, which costs over double that price. So the Nissan GTR is going to be the first car on my list, but now let's jump into the second car. Alright guys, so if you have liked this video so far, then be sure to subscribe and hit that like button, share the video. We are trying to hit 1,000 subscribers, and as of right now, we are only 18 away, so please do whatever you can to help us reach 1,000 subscribers. Alright guys, so the next car on my list is going to be a uh, the more practical side of things, my daily driver. Um, so we're stepping away from the fun car and going into the truck side of things. Um, the car of my choice would be an F-150 Super Crew with, uh, with around 60,000 miles. Now you can find one of these for around $20,000 and guys, I just love farming. And I would not be able to do what I want to do if I do not have a truck. So I just thought an F-150, just a simple truck, would do the job and I would be able to drive it around without having to put miles on my Porsche Cayman. So that, yeah, that is why I'm choosing. 
guys, so the last car on my list uh, to add to the truck and the Porsche would be a Honda S2000 with about 100,000 miles on it. Now that will not be as much of a problem as really any other car because it is a Honda. Um, but, that, but this S2000 at about 100,000 miles, I could find for around 15,000. And that would complete the list with the $65,000 Porsche Cayman GTS, the $20,000 uh, F-150 Super Crew, and then finally this S2000. An S2000 would be a car that's not near as fast as say that Cayman GTS, but it's something that you would be able to drift a lot with and just have a lot of fun when you're out on the day and you would and you would have it last for a long long time honda is a great name i know we've said that before on the channel but it would be a reliable car that you could have a great time with all right guys so to finish off my list on the three car garage i would want for under a hundred thousand dollars i only have about ten thousand left so of course my answer is going to be the 2008 acura tl type s so i've had this car for roughly I'm over six months now, actually, it's been probably going on eight months, I would say, about now. Um, but I've just loved this car since I got it. And again, I want to say, and I say this all the time in about every video, but my favorite things about this car is that it's a sporty vehicle. It's quick, it handles well, and it's under the skin, it's a Honda, so it's reliable. It's not expensive to maintain. So that just, to me, that is a big thing whenever it comes to buying a vehicle. You want it to be fun, quick, and reliable. And I think that the Acura TL wraps that up into a great package, especially for a car for around $10,000. Alright guys, so if you enjoyed this video, be sure to go down and drop a like, subscribe. And if you want to see, we're planning to do another video similar to this of but with a higher budget we have like $250,000 so if you'd like to see that drop it in the comments section be sure to drop a like on this video turn on the notification bell help us reach a thousand subscribers by sharing the channel that is so important because until we get more subscribers and get more views per video YouTube really does not do much to help out small channels that all comes from the subscribers that it already has sharing the channel